In an attempt to catch up with the tightening emissions regulations, manufacturers of last-mile delivery vans and small passenger models are rapidly upping their game. With Amazon taking the climate pledge, we can safely assume that others will follow, so the torrent of electric vans will continue to grow. In today's video, we'll be showing you the freshest models out there, so subscribe to Automotive Territory to stay on top of the car news. Enjoy the ride! Kenu MPDV Kenu has been teasing a multi-purpose delivery van built on their proprietary skateboard platform since 2018. Now, it arrives in two versions, scheduled to start production in 2022. Both are front-wheel drive models, powered by a single electric motor with 200 horses and 236 pound-feet of torque. They get three battery options, 40, 60 or 80 kWh, good for 90 to 230 miles of driving. The Canusev modular interior design created to be easily tailored to the owner's needs or daily tasks, while the main difference between them is in size. The MPDV2 is a larger high-roof fan with a total cargo capacity of 500 cubic feet and payloads up to 1,760 pounds. The one is smaller across all dimensions, has just 230 cubic feet of room but can carry heavier loads up to 1,980 pounds. Ford e-Transit This is one of the few electric cargo van options that will launch not only in Europe, but also in the US. The e-Transit will offer standard chassis cap and cutaway body styles, plus three lengths and roof heights for the former. From the outside, it does not look radically different from the regular Transit, with only a new grill with blue bars, a nose-located charging socket, and special badges marking its EV nature. The model gets one e-motor driving the rear wheels. It produces 269 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque, which would be more than enough even for the largest payload models. Despite targeting the last mile delivery market, the van promises 126 EPA miles or 350 WLTP kilometers. In addition, the stock 67 kWh battery is compatible with 115 kW DC charging stations, which replenish 45 miles in just 15 minutes. Amazon Delivery Van by Rivian Amazon has pledged to become a net zero carbon emission company by the year 2040. Among the first steps towards this goal will be transition of the delivery fleet to all electric vehicles. As was previously rumored, Amazon's financial backing of Rivian at its infancy has concluded in a deal that will spawn 100,000 custom delivery vans by 2030. The testing has already begun in LA and will be expanding to 15 more cities across North America. The technical specifications of the Rivian Amazon van are yet unknown but the leaked information suggests around 150 miles of range, 360-degree camera surround, and advanced safety tech. Arrival Van The first model of the UK-based startup Arrival is planned for deliveries in late 2022, but this has not stopped the five-year-old company from reaching an overall value of $5.4 billion and securing huge contracts, including an order for 10,000 vans from the United Parcel Service. The exact specifications of the model are still far from the official announcement, but what we do know is that the arrival van will use a bespoke modular architecture with proprietary thermoplastic composites for body panels. Such approach allows to assemble the van at far smaller factories, so the company will open local assembly lines in different markets. Besides, the system enables Arrival to tailor each production run to specific commercial requirements, as well as to extend the vehicle's life by swapping older parts for upgraded ones. Mercedes EQV the only van member of the EQ luxury EV family arrives with more potential than your standard people hauler. The model offers two wheelbase lengths, three equipment levels, and several flexible interior layouts, seating from six to eight people. 
underpinned by a compact electric drivetrain comprised of a 90 kWh battery and a single motor, the EQV peaks at 204 horsepower and 267 pound-feet, covers up to 250 miles on a charge and reaches speeds up to 100 miles per hour. For your convenience, the van comes with a standard onboard 11 kW rapid charger and a wall box for home use. In addition, it is compatible with 110 kW stations that shorten charging from 10 to 80% to 45 minutes. Its cabin is well appointed, featuring MBUX infotainment system, digital dashboard, ambient lighting, and an optional surround audio from Burmeister. Support the adoption of electric vehicles by smashing the like button. Thanks in advance, and let's proceed. Morris JE A commercial van cannot be obscure. After all, to some degree, it is a billboard on wheels. One of the best attempts to build a model that won't be missed by a bypasser comes from the British company Morris Commercial. They were inspired by the iconic van from 1950s, the Morris J-Type, but now it features a modern modular chassis with carbon fiber body panels, an electric powertrain, and a high-resolution infotainment. This V can be had in the cargo, passenger, and pickup configurations. Every element of the exterior, like the pear-shaped fascia, wheels, LED headlights, curved roofline, and bright body colors, broadcast retro in all directions. On the electric front, the Morris GE is less impressive, yet still capable, offering 200 WLTP miles of range, 184 cubic feet or 5.5 cubic meters of load space, and 2200 pounds of payload capacity. Peugeot e-Expert The flagship model built over the PSA electric van platform MP2 surely arrives under the Peugeot banners. Besides the best exterior design in the segment, the award-winning Expert adds to its resume an electric drivetrain. Available in three lengths and two battery sizes, 50 and 75 kWh, the model ensures 143 and 211 miles of range. The battery cooling system supports charging at 100 kW, which enables 30 to 45 minutes 0 to 80% recuperation. The integrity of 70% charge capacity of the battery is guaranteed for 8 years or 100,000 miles. The new Peugeot e-Expert has identical load space and capacity to diesel variants, namely up to 6.6 .6 cubic meters and 1.2 tons but it does offer sharp acceleration with 136 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of immediate torque. Nissan ENV200 XL Voltia According to Nissan, the ENV200 is already a preferred last-mile delivery vehicle on the European market. But with this new model, developed in cooperation with the Slovakian Voltia Automotive, the company is aiming to widen the van's appeal. The new XL gets two modifications that expand the load bay by 20 inches in length, width, and in case of the larger model, height. As a result, the entry-level Voltia has 212 cubic feet of cargo volume, while the top one offers 282 cubic feet of space, 90% more than the standard ENV200. It also gets standard walk-in rear doors that allow getting in and out of the van without the need to bend over. Both XL vans come powered by the usual Nissan setup, a 110 horsepower motor and a 40 kWh battery with 200 miles. LEVC VN5 Dating back to early 20th century, this company was the original creator of the famous Hackney Carriage, aka Black Cap. In 2017, it reorganized into a new business entity under Geely ownership, entering the electric vehicle scene. In 2020, London EV branched out again, giving life to an unusual electric van. It looks like the London taxi has convenient side doors for cargo loading and can carry up to 1,825 pounds of cargo. At the first glance, the VN5 seems to be a regular plug-in hybrid, though in actuality, it is a battery electric vehicle powered by a single rear-mounted motor and 31 kWh battery that is aided by a 1.3-liter three-cylinder range extender. 
The latter has no mechanical connection to the wheels and acts as a generator that recharges the lithium-ion pack, bumping the overall range from 60 to over 300 miles. Opel Zephyra E-Life The passenger Opel Vauxhall version of the Peugeot e-Expert will be primarily going after the wallets of European buyers. Offered in three sizes and several seating layouts, the minivan can carry from 5 to 9 passengers. No surprises on the powertrain front, where the usual PSA 136HP single-motor unit works in tandem with either a 50 or 75kWh pack that supports recharging at 100kW. The Zephyr eLife attempts to follow the concept of an e-lounge on wheels, hence the leather seats with massage and heating functions. Access is simplified via electric sliding doors, there is a 10-speaker audio system and the cabin is filled with light thanks to the presence of the panoramic roof. The driver will be assisted by the latest safety tech enabled by multiple sensors and radars. There is a 7-inch infotainment and a head-up display. Vauxhall Combo E Revealed in commercial and passenger iterations, under both Vauxhall and Opel brands, the electric combi van comes powered by a front-mounted motor with 134 horses and a standard floor-hidden 50 kWh battery. The latter offers a WLTP certified range of 171 miles and supports rapid charging at 100 kW to juice the empty pack to 80% in just 30 minutes. Retaining the same load capacity as its IC cousins, the Combo E arrives in two sizes. It gets full smartphone compatibility and the possibility to add a larger 8-inch touchscreen with Multimedia Navi Pro. The company is yet to specify which safety features are fitted as standard, but such upscale goodies as a 180-degree rear camera or overload indicator are paid options. Have you already been visited by one of the Amazon's funky yet beautiful electric vans? Which one of these new models impressed you the most? Let's talk this over in the comment section. Smash the like button to promote electric vehicles, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and watch more electrified content by following the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!